transfer. Intercompany transfer will always happen when you are having a plant A. Transferring to plant B. This plant A belongs to company code A. Plant B belongs to company code B. And then you would be using STO, stock transfer order. You would be creating between plant A and plant B to transfer it. This is intercompany transfer. Now, then what is the intercompany sales? Intercompany sales would be happening. You have a customer. For this customer, an order come to the sales entity who belongs to a plant A and this plant A is belonging to a company code A. Right? Sales entities means your sales organization. Okay, you punched your sales order within your sales organization. Sales organizations belongs to plant A. And plant A belongs to the company code A. Plant A belongs to the company code A. Okay. But what happens? You don't have a stock at plant A. Your entity say that, no, it would be better for me that rather than supplying from plant A, because plant A, there is no stock. Rather than supplying from plant A, this would be shipped from plant B. This plant B would be sh shipping my stock to the customer. Shipping my stock to the customer. And this plant B belongs to company code B. Plant B belongs to the company code B. Now this scenario would be called as an intercompany sales, where my sales entity who is booking the sales comes under the company code A, but my delivery entity who is delivering it is a plant B is come un comes under the company code B. Okay, comes under the company code B. So this is the sales entity. So this kind of scenario happened when you created a sales order. Under the sales order, we have a sales organization, which belongs to a, one particular company code. And then we have an item 10. And under the item 10, you have put it material A. And then you put it the plant B. Then you put it the plant B. Now this plant belongs to the separate company code. And then this sales organization is belong to the separate company code. Then it becomes an intercompany sales scenario where another plant is supplying on behalf of you who is belonging to another financial entity, another financial legal entity, which is called company code and direct transferring to happen to the customer. Right? In this process from customer size, this process would be same. A sales order would be there. Uh, this process, intercompany sales process, we cover in detail into the uh, SD mastery session. And I think recently, in uh, not today, but last week, uh, Sunday, this has been already covered, right? The intercompany sales has been covered. So there basically, a sales order would be there, delivery would be there, PGI would be there, okay? And then invoice would be happening. Invoice, who would be invoicing to the customer? Whether plant A will invoice to the customer or plant B will invoice to the customer? Quickly on the chat window. In this case, invoice to the customer who would be doing? Plant A or plant B? Plant A would be doing. Very good. Plant A would be doing an invoice to the customer. This is a customer invoice which plant A would be doing. Or entity A would be doing. And there would be one intercompany sales invoice. I'm showing between the plants, but actually it is between the company codes. Uh, Intercompany sales invoice would be there between the company code A and between the company code B. 
that is called the intercompany sale. A lot of people, when I ask into the interview, they get confused a lot between the intercompany transfers and intercompany sales. Technically, they are two completely different scenarios from SAP. Make sure you understand that clearly they are completely different scenarios from SAP. Pooja said plant A will create sales order to customer and a PO to plant B. Okay, there's no PO comes in the intercompany sales. We need not to create a PO. PO would not be coming in here. Only it would be the same sales process with the additional invoice document between the two company codes. Intercompany sales invoice will come extra. There is no PO comes into the picture. 